relaxation method which is an example for iterative method when we have to solve system of linear equations given by these three equations using relaxation method first we check for diagonal dominance property which ensures that this iterative method will surely converge to approximate solution after checking for diagonal dominance property we will define residuals given by rx ry and rz which are defined using the relations rx equals d1 minus a1x plus b1 y plus c1 z we get rx by taking this lhs to the rhs similarly we will get ry by taking this lhs to the rhs thus we have ry equals d2 minus a2x plus b2y plus c2z we have rz obtained by taking this lhs to the rhs thus we have rz equals d3 minus a3x plus b3y plus c3z in these equations of residuals first we assume that x y and z takes zero values suppose we increment value of x by 1 that is delta x equals 1 keeping the other variables y and z constant then we have equation of rx will be rx equals d1 minus a1 this is because we have set initially y and z as zero since now we have incremented x to 1 we have delta x equals 1 and here x will take the value 1 thus we have rx equals d1 minus a1 keeping values of y and z as constants both equated to 0 similarly in this case when delta x equals 1 keeping y and z as 0 we will have ry equals d2 minus a2 rz equals d3 minus a3 that is rx got decremented by a1 ry got decremented by a2 and rz got decremented by a3 initially when both y and z as well as x also equated to 0 we will have rx equals d1 ry equals d2 and rz equals d3 that is when no increment is given to any of the variables x y and z initially we will have when x y and z all equated to 0 from these set of equations of residuals rx equals d1 ry equals d2 and rz equals d3 follows we came across equations rx equals d1 minus a1 ry equals d2 minus a2 rz equals d3 minus a3 when delta x was equated to 1 or x was incremented by 1 keeping y and z as constants equated to 0 thus we observe that when delta x equals 1 change in value for residual rx is delta rx equals minus a1 similarly change in value for residual ry is given by delta ry equals minus a2 and delta rz which is the change in value of residual rz equals minus a3 let us consider the next case delta y equals 1 keeping x and z as constants that is x and z both equated to 0 and delta y equated to 1 then we will have rx equals d1 minus b1 ry equals d2 minus b2 rz equals d3 minus b3 this is because both x and z are equated to 0 in all the three equations and delta y equals 1 and hence when y was incremented from 0 to 1 we have rx decremented by b1 ry decremented by b2 and rz decremented by b3 which gives delta rx equals minus b1 delta ry equals minus b2 delta rz equals minus b3 when delta y equals 1 let us consider the third case when z is incremented from value 0 to 1 keeping x and y as constants both equated to 0 that is now we have x and y equated to 0 and delta z equals 1 in this situation we have rx equals d1 minus c1 ry equals d2 minus c2 and rz equals d3 minus c3 which says that rx got decremented by c1 ry got decremented by c2 and rz got decremented by c3 when delta z was equated to 1 keeping x and y both as constants here we have delta rx equals minus c1 delta ry equals minus c2 and delta rz equals minus c3 thus now we can construct the operational table given by delta rx delta ry and delta rz values notated which shows change in values of residuals corresponding to three cases when delta x equated to 1 keeping y and z as constants delta y equated to 1 
keeping x and z as constants and delta z equated to 1 keeping x and y as constants. We had observed that delta rx equals minus a1 when delta x equals 1. Thus we have minus a1 written here. Similarly delta x equals 1 resulted in delta ry equals minus a2. Delta x equals 1 also resulted in delta rz equals minus a3. In the next case when we considered delta y equals 1 keeping x and z both as constant values or zeros we had considered from the equations of residuals we observed rx got decremented by b1, ry by b2 and rz by b3 from which we have delta rx equals minus b1, delta ry equals minus b2 and delta rz equals minus b3 in this situation delta y equals 1. The last row of operational table gives us situation of change in values of residuals when delta z equated to 1. We had observed when delta z equated to 1 keeping x and y as constants equated to 0 we had delta rx equals minus c1, delta ry equals minus c2 and delta rz equals minus c3. Thus we have completed writing operational table. If you consider the coefficient matrix from these three equations we have from the first equation first row will be minus a1 minus b1 minus c1 from the second equation we have second row for coefficient matrix will be minus a2 minus b2 and minus c3 third row of coefficient matrix will be minus a3 minus b3 and minus c3 if you take the transpose of this coefficient matrix you will get the entries for operational table first row of coefficient matrix is the first column of the operational table Second row of coefficient matrix is the second column for operational table and the third row of coefficient matrix is the third column of operational table. For every question we don't have to think about situation when delta x, delta y and delta z was incremented from 0 values to 1. We can directly track the transpose of coefficient matrix which will give us the format for operational table. Using this standard operational table and the formulas of residuals we will construct relaxation table in which at each step numerically largest residual is reduced possibly to zero. When all the residuals Rx, Ry and Rz are reduced to zero or nearly reduced to zero, we will take sum of delta x, delta y and delta z which will give the desired solution. We have x equals sum of all delta x values y equals sum of all delta y values and z equals sum of all delta z values.